Hey, Andrew from Azito. With summer always around the corner, why not bring some beach to your backyard with a sand pit? You can tackle this big project with our new five-piece PXE kit and even comes with a handy instruction manual. It also has a nifty shopping list with everything you need available at your local Bunnings store. This is a big project, so let's get into it. The first step is to measure and cut everything so we can get the hard yards done and dusted. Start with the sleepers. You'll need two lengths at 1100mm and two at 1200mm. The 90 by 35 mil pine, you'll need four pieces at 410 mil and four pieces at 190 mil. Now the 12 decking boards at 1200 mil. Quick tip, clamp down two pieces together so you can cut through faster. Now let's get the base together. Measure and mark 50mm down from the 1200mm sleeper lengths on both ends. Then drill three pilot holes with a 5mm bit at each end. Align this mark with 1100mm sleepers. Fix the base together with some batten screws. Now things are starting to come together. Lay down two pieces of decking at either end. Leave a gap of 10 mil between each piece. Or if you have a scrap piece of timber around 10 mil, use that. For a flush finish, use a three mil combined countersink and drill bit. Repeat this step on the other side. Now time for the seats. Align two pieces of timber on the base and draw a line on the underside. Align these pieces with the 190mm lengths. Drill two countersink holes on either side and fix with 50mm screws. Repeat this step on the other side. Place the two seats at opposite ends with a 10 mil gap, and then attach two hinges to each seat and fasten them. Did I hear someone say backrest? Grab another two pieces of timber and place them on with a 10 mil gap. Place the 410 mil supports wherever suits then clamp it to the top piece of decking. Flip it over and fix four screws into the countersink pilot holes on either side. Then align the bottom piece and drive another four screws in either side. Repeat this step on the other side. Place the backrest into position with a 10 mil gap of course, then fix two hinges to the underside. Now repeat this step on the other side. Almost done, now for the finishing touches with the detail sander. Sanding is one of those jobs you can keep doing until you are happy. But in this case, I would sand it at least until all the rough edges are no more, so there won't be any splinters. 
It's now the time to make this sand pit stand out. Paint it bright colours or simply stain or varnish it to protect it from the weather. The final step before we put some sand into the sand pit is to put some shade cloth on. That'll let the water through and keep the sand in. Team this build up with our new PXC staple gun to get to plates on faster. It's time to fill the sand pit with a good quality sand. If you're anything like me, it's almost like unwrapping a present each time. It's all about the simple things, isn't it? Surprise, it's a sand pit and the lid keeps all the animals away, keeping the sand nice all the time. Don't forget to share your creations with us using hashtag TeamUpWithAzito.